I am a judge, a community judge for American Bloom, and this year uh, I was assigned Bruton, Alabama um, with my co-judge, Devro Bemis, to judge Bruton. Uh, for the fifth year, I understand Bruton has been in the program for five years. Um, I think America in Bloom uh, serves as a catalyst to get communities uh, working together towards a common goal. Um, a lot of communities can become divided over certain issues, but it's hard to find people get divided over beautification and community pride. So it's a good way to get people who wouldn't normally work together. Um, working together towards a common goal of making their community uh, more desirable for them to live in and, and more beautiful for visitors and appealing for uh, potential new residents. Well, the American in Bloom project has uh, preservation and amenities and other things other than just flowers as, as its judging criteria. And I've spent 30 years in preservation and town planning and that sort of thing. So uh, they contacted me and asked me to serve. Well, obviously, American in Bloom, a lot of their emphasis is on, is on landscaping, flowers, and, that, and uh, that sort of thing. So I sort of take everything that's not that. I look, at, uh, I look at the infrastructure. I look at the signage. I look at how people get around. Uh, but mainly, I look for historic buildings and historic assets and see how you use them, interpret them, take care of them. Well, what we do is, if you've been in the program for a few years, we look at your past uh, consultation reports from Mer American Bloom and uh, to see what recommendations were made in the past and see what kind of progress you've made towards those and if we come up with any new ideas um, or when we come up with new ideas we may add on to that list or give you a different direction or a different set of uh, recommendations that might be more attainable or more appealing or address things that may have happened in your community since last year that you could uh, you know, just glom onto and, and chase that. I mean, this is amazing, and I, from what I'm learning, this was not even on the radar last year. Right. We'll, we'll write a report, and it will go to the, the headquarters of American in Bloom, and they've got a committee that will actually sit down and review our report, as well as reports from all over the, uh, all over the country. And it's done by population. So Bruton won't be compared to New York City. Bruton will be compared to something relatively the same size uh, and they'll look at that and some things uh, will will probably be things that uh, judges find in the same city I'm doing two more uh, cities so I might wind up having three recommendations for Bruton and the other two cities uh, and then uh, the symposium will be in September uh, and in October y'all will get the full report this is uh, a wonderful demonstration of what can be done in a very short amount of time in a small space and really make an amazing difference in a, just a, a school leftover space that was neglected and now it's become an outdoor classroom uh, that has gotten so many more people involved that never you know knew about it and everybody that's out here is so enthusiastic and thrilled. Okay, if you came here a year ago this looked like a deserted island. I mean there was nothing out here it was just really depressing. And it's such an amazing learning space for the kids to be able to come out here, especially for me. I mean, my classroom is right here. So we can come out and draw and, you know, spend time, you know, studying the plants and learning about them. So when the garden club decided they kind of wanted to take this upon them, I was like, whatever you need, I will help you as much as I can because it's just so happy out here now. I mean, everyone that walks by every day, it's like when something news out here, all the kids are like, oh my gosh, look at that, look at that. So it's just, I mean, it's changed our whole school, in my opinion. And all of the teachers just love it because now people are already starting to come out here and, and to plant things and to study them. And I bring my classes out and we, we draw. And it's a nice change because being in a classroom is great, but being outside sometimes is such a... Boost. Breath of fresh air. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and they can get a little bit of energy out when they come out here. So, I mean, it's, to me, it's made a huge difference in our school. 
So I, I can't wait to share this best idea with other communities at the symposium. And that's another thing we like to, whatever you're doing that you love and gets the community going, that's an idea we're sharing with other communities. And that's the value of American Bloom. We are kind of your network nationally to help communities all over the country get better. Well, you know, there's always the economic benefit. That's, that's what everybody is looking for. What's it going to cost? What are we getting out of it? Uh, and I will say this, the thing that impresses me so much about Bruton is what we see happening are things the city and the community is doing for the, things and for the citizens and, and in the community. Unlike a lot of people who want to open a museum to attract tourists or, or do, uh, you know, a, a widening of a street to attract tourists, it seems to me that what Bruton is doing is they're saying, what can we make our lives better here? And then people will see how good our lives are and they'll come. And I think that's the, the, the lesson I'm taking from Bruton is I think they've got it right.